everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Disneyland, and usually when we're here, we're eating indulgent food and treats. And you guys always ask, what about the healthy stuff? Yeah, so today we're gonna take you around Disneyland and show you some of our favorite healthy food items. It can be done, people. And we're gonna show you how you can eat a little bit better while you're at Disney. And of course, we'll also go on some rides and have some fun. Come with us on, on this, this adventure. adventure. We're gonna start things off not with a healthy snack, but a pro tip. If you're looking to lose weight at Disney, why not walk from the Mickey and Friends parking structure to Disneyland? It's about a mile each way, so if you do it when you get here and when you're leaving, that's two miles. If you're 250 pounds, that's 250 calories burned just from that walk alone. So that's like a caramel apple, you know what I mean? I usually walk five to 10 miles on a Disney day without that tram walk. And for me and my weight, that's like 1,500 calories of walking burned. Which I'm not saying gives you the excuse to eat bad, but you can delight in some unhealthy choices. start things off with one of my favorite snacks at Disneyland. It's not a churro, it's not a pretzel, it's a pickle. If you've never had a Disneyland pickle, you are missing out. They are so good. Let's go get some. They have some right here on Main Street. And at these carts, they also have bananas, they got apples, they got cuties. That's what I call the pickle wave. They're so big. I don't know how they get their pickles so big. I don't know where they get their pickles from but they are so good. It's like the turkey leg mystery. It's like, where, yeah, it's I've like, never seen turkeys with that yeah, big Yeah, I've never seen pickles this big, but I'm telling you, it's magic if you've never tried one of the Disneyland pickles before. Mm. They used to actually sell spicy pickles and like garlic pickles. They were the same pickle, just like marinated in different flavors. I don't know if they do that anymore, but the, the standard one is a five out of five Kitras. So juicy, so good, just trust me. They have a new popcorn bucket today. It's Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. I think this is the one from Japan. Uh, no popcorn for us today. It turns out that's not healthy. We're gonna go to Adventureland. And right by Bengal Barbecue, they still do have the spicy pickles here. These are super good. So you can get the regular or the spicy. They also have a bunch of other nice snacks here like pineapple, grapes. They got mini Baby Bell cheese. They have a good variety in Adventureland. You have to go to Adventureland for the spicy pickles because spicy pickles are more of an adventure. Next up, we're going to Bengal Barbecue, which has one of my favorite healthy snacks here at Disneyland. Pro tip, mobile order from this place because the line is super long. And I just think it's funny, we're waiting for our order and there's this little load screen and it has a bunch of treats on there, but none of them are like really that healthy. Like there, there should be a pickle on there, right? Or like, a little skewer or something. No, there's <laughs> cupcakes. There should be a salad. There should be a salad. Exactly. In the shape of Mickey. Exactly. My favorite healthy snack at Disneyland is the pork belly skewer. This has hoisin sauce, pickled carrots, and daikon topped with cilantro. Before we eat this, I gotta say that, disclaimer, what we consider healthy might not be what you consider healthy. Everybody has different diets. We used to be on the keto diet. 
an outcome here all the time because keto is like high protein, low carbs. We get the sauce on the side. Perfect place to eat if you're on keto. But we just picked like a, a wide variety of things that I think are generally considered healthy. But of course, if you're a vegetarian, this is not considered healthy for you. So, but uh, this is one of my favorites. This is so good. That pork belly is very tender, just like falls apart. The sauce on it, kind of like a rich soy, like sweet, tangy, but also like salty. So good. Five out of five, Peters. I already know that Kitchen Loves is so ordinary adventure star. If you're ever here, I feel like a lot of people just walk by Bengal Barbecue because they're either, you know, coming from Indiana Jones or going to Jungle Cruise or going to Fantasmic. And it's like the stand and you feel like, oh, I want a big like sit down dinner. You can actually get like two skewers and a thing of rice and slaw for like 18 bucks. One of these skewers is like six or seven bucks. So it's a very affordable option as well. And now I'd like to thank Noom for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Noom has literally changed my life. I think it's safe to say we all gained a little weight during the pandemic. In August, we got off our cruise and I weighed myself and I weighed more than I had ever weighed before. It was embarrassing. I couldn't fit into half the t-shirts in my closet. Thankfully, I found Noom and over the course of the last two months, I've lost 21 and a half pounds so far. Noom helps you create healthy habits that make you feel good both physically and mentally. Of course, you track your food and your exercises you might expect, but what makes Noom different is they have these quizzes and these challenges that teach you a better way of eating healthy, but more importantly, but the triggers that might take you off track and they teach you how to recognize those triggers and hopefully stop that from happening. It's not a set of rules, it's a different way of thinking. You could click the link below or you could go to noom.com slash ordinary adventures to take your free Noom evaluation. Noom has given me a boost in self-confidence. It's not really a diet, it's much more than that. It's more of like a lifestyle change. And the best part is you don't have to eat just salads. You can enjoy all the foods that you love, just in moderation. We recently went on a trip to Orlando for HHN and I managed to lose three pounds during that trip. And I was enjoying myself. So what are you waiting for? Go to noom.com slash ordinary adventures to take your free evaluation now. And now back to our adventure. And one of my favorites from Bingo Barbecue is actually the safari skewer and it's just asparagus wrapped with bacon. It's so good. This was another like go-to item that we would always get on keto because bacon is actually good for you on keto. It's been a while since I've had it. I think one of the reasons Bengal barbecue is so tasty is because they actually grill it right in front of you. Like you can see the burn marks on there. It tastes like charred, good. This is just like simple, yet like perfection. This, this gets the Ordinary Adventure Star too, wouldn't you say? Yes. Wow, I feel so healthy today. <laughs> it really is, it's like nice and refreshing, even though there's bacon on this, but dang, I'm healthy today. One of the challenges with Disney is they don't provide calorie counts for anything. It's estimated that the skewers are 150 to 200 calories each without sauce. And we would highly recommend if you're on a diet, get the sauce on the side. You can put as little or as much sauce on it as you want. And it still is good. I was trying to go down, but it wouldn't work. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next up, we made our way over to Rancho Del Zocalo, where I got myself some cauliflower tacos. These come with cabbage slaw, tomatillo sauce, and Mexican rice and refried beans. They look pretty good, actually. Like, look at how, how finely diced the cauliflower is. It almost looks like meat. These are kind of spicy. I don't know if it's from the cauliflower or it's from the salsa on top or what, but these have quite the kick. I'm honestly shocked. They're very, very flavorful. You would never know that you're eating plants or vegetables or whatever this is. But one of our pro tips is you can always share food with your friends, your family. So for example, we came here and we're gonna share this and it makes it a little more healthy that way because you're not eating the whole thing yourself. Usually when we come here and we're eating badly, we will share it amongst ourselves or friends. These probably get like a three and a half out of five. They're good. They're just like a little bit on the spicy side, and I think I wasn't expecting that, but they're good. I like them. I feel like sometimes we get some criticism because we don't eat a lot of like the vegetarian and vegan dishes in the parks. Honestly, we just go with like what sounds best to us. And we're meat eaters, we're carnivores, but today we're trying to push ourselves a little bit out of our comfort range and try some new stuff. Another pro tip I have for you is don't be drinking calories, drink some water. And the cheapest way to drink some water is to bring yourself a refillable water bottle. And there's stations around Disneyland where you can fill up your water bottle either in like a water fountain or a water container refillable station. And my favorite one is this one in Galaxy's Edge. There's a warning sign here. It says it's not safe for consumption because there is a creature in the water who pokes his head out every once in a while. But one of the good things about Disney is, unlike other theme parks, you can bring in like healthy snacks and healthy drinks. Other theme parks don't let you do that, so take advantage of that. It's a hot day today in Batu. All three sons are out, and they have a new item that helps with that. I know this video is all about eating healthy, blah, 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 but we're in Galaxy's Edge, so we got to show you the new merch. Check this out. It's like this cool head scarf with a Black Spire Outpost logo down there. I like this because it, it looks like something that the citizens of Batu would actually wear. And it actually comes in two colors. Wow, these are cool. This would be like a really fun thing to wear to the Galactic Star Cruiser. You know why? Because he's... Oh my God, now I... you look like a citizen of Batu. I feel like a freaking scoundrel right now. Like I just want to walk around being like... <laughs> You know what it reminds me of? What? Like, you know when Kermit the Frog like puts on his dark, like, rope? Yeah. <laughs> you look like that. Do I look like a Star Wars? Yeah. Do I look like I belong in a Star Wars? Yeah. Earlier, I showed you my favorite healthy snack in Disneyland. And right now, I'm going to show you my favorite healthy meal. And that is in Galaxy's Edge at Docking Bay 7. They have a thing called the Andorian Roasted Tip Dip Salad. This is marinated chicken, mixed greens, roasted seasonal vegetables, quinoa, pumpkin seeds, and green curry ranch dressing. I gotta tell you guys, this is delicious. They have salads at almost every food location you go here, you can get a salad. So if, if your diet is like, I'm just gonna have a salad for my meal, they got you covered. But this is the best one. So Tip Yip is like the chicken of the Star Wars universe. Look at that ranch. Ooh. It's a tasty salad too. That ranch has a bit of spice. It has a kind of kick to it. So if you don't like spice, don't get this. Five out of five Peters. As I said, this is my favorite salad in all of Disneyland Resort. Actually, probably all of Disney. Disney World and Disneyland. This is my favorite salad. And you can get it here. Talking base up. This is one of our go-to food items back when we were doing the keto diet. It does have a little bit of quinoa in there, but they are very accommodating here. So if there's an ingredient that you don't like, you could just ask them and they can modify it for you. But pro tip, like Peter said, this is the best salad in all of Disney. It's really so good. This isn't just like a normal like grilled or roasted chicken. There's like spices on there. So if you like, if you like a lot of flavor, the salad's a flavor bomb. Wouldn't this salad be a flavor thermal detonator, not a flavor bomb? You guys know that we love the Ronto wraps. 
they're iconic, they're so good. But sometimes I feel a little bit guilty about eating those cute creatures. They're so cute. So I have good news for you. They actually have a ronto list ronto wrap. This has plant-based sausage, spicy kimchi slaw, sweet pickled cucumber, plant-based gochujang spread wrapped in pita bread, and hot take. I actually personally like this better than the original ronto wrap. I know, I know. It is so good. You guys have to trust me. It's one of my favorite things in all of Galaxy's Edge, and it's healthy, right? <laughs> I mean, when something's vegetarian, it's automatically healthy, right? Exactly, exactly. Right. It's been a while since I've had one of these. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. The best way I could describe this is it almost tastes like you're eating like a pot sticker or like a dumpling. Like, you cannot tell that that's plant-based at all. So flavorful. It tastes completely different than the normal Ronto. But, oh my gosh, it's so good. Five out of five. This is like a must when you come to Galaxy's Edge. And it's only in California. In the Galaxy's Edge in Orlando, they have another sort of like- The Zuki. Yeah, it's called the Zuki wrap or something. It is not good. This is bomb.com. This is thermaldetonator.com. You drop it all over yourself? Oh my god, I've never seen Fennec Shand and Boba Fett out patrolling Batu at the same time. Have you guys seen any healthy food in Batu? Looking for some healthy Jungle food. Would have enjoyed you. Not for long though. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Jabba the Hutt liked to eat those Klaatuin patty frogs. Those are healthy. And look at him. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he was the best of hell. Yeah, I mean all the huts, it just runs in their jeans. That's why they look that way. You know that he was super fit. <laughs> Our day just got worse. <laughs> just because you're trying to eat healthier doesn't mean you have to skip dessert. Some people ask, Rosita, why don't you just fly to your next show? Well, I'll tell you why. They didn't have any window seats left. One of my favorite desserts in all of Disneyland is actually not that bad for you. Over at Tropical Hideaway or the Enchanted Tiki Room, you can get the classic Dole Whip, and I would get it without the pineapple juice because pineapple juice is a lot of sugar. And while a lot of things at Disney, they don't list the calories, Dole is a company outside of Disney, and they sell the Dole Whip outside of Disney. So we know it's 110 calories with 26 carbs for like two thirds of a cup. Not that bad, to be honest with you. It's a good, sweet treat. Dole Whip never disappoints. I love, I'm just like a pineapple. You can call me a pineapple connoisseur, but seriously, I am a connoisseur of Dole Whips. They have all different flavors. I don't know if the other flavors are the same amount of calories and sugar, but this thing's actually not that bad for you. And if you share it with your friend, your loved one, then you're eating like 60, 70 calories. Not that bad. Five Peters, Ordinary Adventure Star. Ladies and gentlemen. Also, come with us. another pro tip. To this has nothing to do with joints. eating healthy, but one of the best secret bathrooms in all of Disneyland is actually this, this bathroom right here by the Tiki Room, and nobody knows about it. It's always empty. So don't tell anyone. It's just our secret, okay? Oh, look at all the people. Welcome to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. I sing so beautiful, I should sing so loud. How magnificent production on this yet to come. So strum the guitar and beat the drum. Come on and join us in another chorus. And now, senors and senoritas, please place your eyes into the center of the room that is. Look, here come the girls. I wonder what happened to Rosita. Sweet, 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 sweet. Can you wanna eat a hua hua hua? Hey, oh, hey, no, I I'm 
remember the amazing things which happened here in Walt Disney's enchanted Kiki Room. We're gonna make you all disappear. See, it is possible to eat healthy at Disney. You just gotta like try really hard. If you want to see a video where we don't eat healthy, we'll put it right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Kent, Dale Baker, Kendall, Helmsetter, Gellner, and Eric Larson. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah.